Over the years, I've gathered all kinds of tools for carbon rattlesnake walking sticks. In this video, I'd like to show you the ones I find most useful, in case you're interested in making your own carbons. The Arbortech Mini Carver is a really versatile tool for all-around carving. I use it mostly for quickly removing unneeded wood. Here I'm using the Sabertooth 2 inch grooving wheel. You can see how quick and easy it slices through the wood. Of course every carver needs to have a chisel. And it's always handy to have an angle grinder with a sanding disc. Sabretooth makes a whole lot of good grinding wheels and burrs. They really cut well and last a long time. I don't really need to use the half inch belt sander, but since I got one, it sure is handy to reach into certain tight areas where other tools won't fit. Power tools are great. But sometimes nothing else will work like a good old farrier's rasp. I use several different types of rasps on every project to help me shape the carbon. I got quite a variety of saber tooth burrs. They come in different shapes and grit sizes from rough to fine. I use them in my OZ Plus micromotor handpiece. I've had several micromotor handpieces over the years, but nothing compares to the power of the OZ. It's kind of spendy, but for me it's well worth the money. I've used mine constantly for quite a few years now, and I've never had any trouble with it. This is a Dremel 543 shaping wheel. I use it to carve the tight areas between the shaft and the snake. For carving the final features and details of the snake, I use a big variety of carbide and diamond burrs. There's too many shapes and brand names to list, but you can get some ideas from the ones I have here. I buy most of my carbon tools from Treeline. I'll leave a link in the description for you. I hope this information will help you to narrow down your search for good carbon tools. Thanks to everyone who's purchased my carbon book and video. I really appreciate it, and I wish you happy carving.